Oh, this is stupid. I'm just on a cheap set like all those local country music shows. This sucks. <laughs> oh, that's better. Just goes to show you whose local show is better, huh? You know, we had our anniversary in February, and, you know, we usually, we usually read the best viewer mail we've gotten through the year, but, you know, we're all men around here, so we forget our anniversary. But, so we're going to do it now. Anyway, our first letter. Why would Chuck Brennan want to be on your stupid show? Mike Ortman, Sioux Falls. Well, let's ask him. Chuck? Why am I on the show now? Well, that's easy. It's because I'm evil. Evil. Evil! <laughs> evil! <laughs> Alright. Well, our second letter, uh, why is Mr. Helper on the show less and less anymore? And that's from Daryl and Verna Helper of Canton, South Dakota. Well, let's bring Mr. Helper in himself and we'll find out. Hello there! Hi. What? I said hello. Hello! How are you? Fine. Any, anyway, answer the question that the viewer. What? He wants to know why you're not on the show anymore. Well, your parents, actually. Well, I'll tell you about it. It's because of this. This, this hurts. Look at it. Look at this. It's sharp. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It really hurts. So that's why. My bucket hurts, so I don't want to be on your stupid show anymore. Oh, whatever. Get off the stage, you You can't say that on PAX. Oh. Did you going or what? Anyway, our third letter is from Penny Pearson in Aberdeen, and she writes, Scott is always playing a gay man on the show. Is he really gay? Well, probably, but I don't know. Scott, come in here. This, uh, right. this Penny Pearson, mm -hmm. she wants to know if you're gay. Hmm, that name sounds familiar, but I can't quite figure out why. <laughs> well, uh, Penny Pearson, I uh, brought this uh, footage of my basement. Now, let's take a look at this. And as uh, you can see, do you think any gay guy would have a basement like this? Uh, no, I guess not. Well, no, nope, that's true. Uh, well, you can leave. Okay, all right, see ya. Yep. Anyway, we've got another letter. Uh, it's from Marvin Erlocker in Sioux Falls. Why are there no women cast members? Brian? Hey, baby. There you go. Oh, go put some shoes on. Anyway, so there you go. We've got uh, four literate uh, viewers out there. That's pretty good. That's better than, like, uh, Hot Country Videos or something, I think, so, there you go, whatever. Traveling the country with his mentor, Billy possesses the power to become Captain Marvel by simply saying, Shazam! <laughs> Well, Billy, here we are driving around in our van looking for our next adventure. I sure do like adventures, Mentor. But it's such a quiet day, I'm sure nothing's going to happen. This is the perfect time for me to practice playing my notes. Well, Billy, the elders will be happy to know that you're learning a new instrument. Oh, that's right. Oh! Speaking of the elders, they're calling us right now. Elder, elder, good and wise, appear before my little eye. How's everything going, Billy? Fine. Billy, many times in life you come across people who are not as good as you are. You mean the Swedish? Yes, Billy, but that's not why I called you here. You're soon going to have an adventure. It involves a troubled teen, Billy. Oh, you mean like I do every week? Shut up, Billy. Remember this. If trouble strikes, you can turn into... Shazam! No 
What kind of stupid advice is that? I already knew that. Well, I'm not sure. It's been a rough week. By the way, Billy, do you have a couple bucks I could borrow? I lost a bet to Hercules, and he's not the kind of god you want to owe money to, if you know what I mean. Oh, I'm broke too. Maybe you should go to a payday loan or car title place. Never! And remember, Billy, if trouble strikes, you can turn into Shazam. And by the way, the Swedes are not as good as you and me. Oh, well, Billy, what did the elders tell you this time? Oh, well, mainly he just wanted to borrow money. Cheap ass elder. Always wanted to borrow money. Hmm? <laughs> oh, Billy. We better pull over to this scenic area and let the van air out. That's a good idea, Mentor. Hey, Keener. What you doing? Well, look, Johnny. I got fireworks. Fireworks? But Peter, we're not supposed to use those without adult supervision. Well, Johnny, what are you, chicken? Come on, let's go light these. Light the fireworks? I don't know. Oh, come on, you scaredy cat. Let's go, nobody will know. Nobody calls me a scaredy cat. Peter, because I'm not one. What? Well, okay, Johnny, let's, let's go light these then. Well, I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm no scaredy cat. You can't say that to me. Well, come on, Johnny, let's go light these. I mean, they've got to be safe. They're from Sweden. What are you teens up to? Yoink. Hey, you teen, are those Swedish fireworks? Listen, son, those are Swedish fireworks. You could get severe burns. You could have loss of hearing. You could danger someone else. You shouldn't play with those. Especially without proper adult supervision. All those dirty Swedes! Swedes? And by the way, the Swedes are not as good as you and me. So, son, you should always have a pail of water handy. You should always put out your punk when you're done. And that is why you need to be safe with Swedish fireworks. Okay. Hey, Mentor, I think the van should be aired out by now. Well, Billy, then we should be on our way. Hey, Peter. What's up? Well, hey, Johnny. Let's go light these fireworks, man. These are these high-quality Swedish fireworks. Nothing goes off like these babies. Nobody's going to know a thing if we do it. They're really safe. I know how to be safe with fireworks. I mean, uh, we can be really safe and have a lot of fun with these, and nobody will know. So let's go. Come on, Johnny. Let's go do these fireworks now. I want to go do the fireworks. Let's go, Johnny. Come on, let's go. Come on. Are you a scaredy cat or what? I don't know, Peter. Maybe we should just stay in school. Oh, come on, Johnny, you fraidy cat. We got to do the fireworks. We don't need to stay in school to do fireworks. Only losers stay in school and get a job and an education. We're cool, man. We can go out and do fireworks and, and, and do, like, you know, lots of sort of cool stuff if we just drop out of school. And all we need to do is just do the fireworks. Come on, Johnny, just do the fireworks. Oh. Do the fireworks, Johnny. Oh, oh. Do the fireworks. Okay, I'll do the fireworks. <laughs> No, you idiot, that's not what I meant. I meant light the fireworks, like this.
Gee, Mentor, I smell smoke. That's because I lit a match. All I can smell is that chewed gum smell. No, I mean real smoke. Hmm. hmm. Oh, look! There's a big, huge, big, huge fire, Billy. By the way, Billy, you have a couple bucks I could borrow? I lost a bet to Hercules. No, not that part. If trouble strikes, you can turn into... Shazam! Oh, yeah! Mentor, pull over, quick! Okay, Billy! Marvel? How did you know? You got that big Shazam thing on the front of the car in there. Say, how come Captain Marvel turns from that short skinny guy into that short fat guy anyway? Where is Captain Marvel anyway? Well, teens, look up in the sky! There he is! Flying up a little high? How's he gonna see us from up there? <laughs> Captain Marvel! Wow, Captain all, Marvel! All glad! Yay! Yay. Agree! Well, Captain Marvel, how are you gonna take care of the fire? Didn't you bring any water or anything? Nope. I didn't bring any water, Captain Marvel. I'd go to the bathroom. Well, I have an idea. like when the boys pee on the radiator in the bathroom. Oh, yay. yay! We are glad you did a good job, Captain Marvel. What lessons have you learned from this, young teens? The Swedish are not as good as us. And by the way, Swedes are not as good as you and me. Say, where is Billy at? Here I am. Right here. Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> well, Billy, we had a grand adventure today. We showed those teenagers how to safely handle fireworks. That's right, Mentor. Now those teens know how to safely handle fireworks, thanks to Captain Marvel. I agree, Billy. Swedes aren't as good as we are. Swedes aren't as good as we are. <laughs> and most importantly, now those teens will go back to school and learn about ancient Egyptians and water tables 
and the like. Thanks to Captain Marvel, I should say. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Today we learned that Swedes are not as good as you and me. And we learned that, uh, well, we're 30 seconds short this week, um, so I'm supposed to stand here and say something clever. Yeah, right. You know, um, the, the water tables and those Egyptian pharaohs, that, that's important stuff to know because then you can put out the fire in the pyramid. Uh, when today's celebrity newsmakers want to tell their story, there's one man they tell it to, and that man is Stephen Trudeau. And now, the Stephen Trudeau interview special. Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of the Stephen Trudeau interview special. I am your host, Stephen Trudeau. <laughs> and today, we come to you from outside the mini Haha County Jail here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where former governor and congressman and current convicted felon Bill Janklow is serving his 100-day jail sentence for killing a uh, motorcycle rider. So let's go in right now and talk to Bill Janklow. And welcome to my show. Hi. Okay. And how do you like being in jail? Uh, I, get a, I get a little bit of time to work on the packs. But... Besides that, I'm, I'd like to be out. And what do you do in jail every day? I get up. Uh, I go to the showers then. That lasts a good half an hour. <laughs> and then afterwards I have a breakfast. Then I just work on the pecs all day. So you see I've buffed up quite a bit. <laughs> okay. And how is your driving school going? Uh, I, I still have I still have it running. I still see some profits from it. I mean, that seems to be about my only source of income now. Okay, and that has been former governor and congressman and current convicted felon Bill Janklow at the Minnehaha County Jail. I am Stephen Trudeau. Thank you for joining me for the Stephen Trudeau interview special. Let's go hunting. Uh, for what? Uh, Freddy cats. <laughs> oh, glad. Shh. This is Freddy cat country. Hey, there's something behind that bush. Oh, I hope it's not a washed up celebrity. <laughs> oh no, it's Chuck Brennan. <laughs> oh, shoot him. I can't. What are you, some kind of goody two-shoes? No, I don't have any shoes. Or fingers. <laughs> oh, I wish we'd spot some Freddy cats. Yeah, I just wish you'd mow your lawn. <laughs> hey, look, Freddy cats. Hundreds of them, as far as the eye can see. Uh, you need a counting lesson. 
Oh, I need a chiropractor. The uh, TRS boy hurt his neck hunting Freddy cats. Yeah, you fix him up there, Doc, and we'll go wait in the lobby. Hey, this is a pretty nice lobby. Yeah, they got Helen Ruddy and a Laker girl. <laughs> pretty good. Oh. oh, I need an aspirin. Oh. Oh.